What's up everybody, Jeremy here. It's been a while, but we got a cool box in the mail today from Hasbro. And I uh, thought I'd bring you guys a little look-see at what was inside before we do some reviews for the site. Um, this is a promo box from Hasbro, so I want to say thank you to them for sending us a bunch of Star Wars stuff to show you guys today. Part of their Bring Home the Bounty program with uh, reveals and all that and the dog can hear me talking and he is upset but we'll power through that katie's gonna help me unbox this today Hi. so uh, yeah anyway to bring home the bounty stuff um they do reveals every week after the new episodes of mandalorian last year and uh book of boba fett right now so uh make sure you're paying attention to bleeding cool and we bring you all those announcements every week for now, let's take a look and see what's inside. Why don't you go ahead and open that? Okay. Right. Oof. Whoa. <laughs> okay, hang on a second. So that's a lot of stuff. Let's see. Um, we'll start here. First, we have some new credit collection Black Series figures. Um, these are, of course, based on the end credit artwork scenes from The Mandalorian. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it is. We have Grief Karga. We have the armorer. Each one comes with um, credits. The figure It's uh, the same Black Series figure we got before, just with a different paint deco to match the artwork from the end credits. So we got the armorer. And then, of course, we have the Mandalorian. Nice. Yeah. Ooh, I like the color on that. Thank you. So we have those. Uh, we have the new Black Series Mandalorian and Grogu from Arvala 7, where he fights the Mudhorn. You see the Jawa egg there. Hmm. You got the muddy paints, uh, paint deco on the Mando. And Grogu, looking like only he can look, using the Force for the first time. I like how they call him Grogu and not her baby. Well, yeah, that's because that's because that's his name. We got one more Black Series figure in here. Oh, two more. Uh, Casca Reeves, of course, played by Mercedes Vernado or Sasha Banks on The Mandalorian. And then this is the one I'm most excited about. We have the vintage Carback-style Luke Skywalker from Power of the Force. Mm -hmm. Now, I always got the file card in the back, too. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. I wish that he was the muscular one, like the old figure, but... <laughs> muscular? Yeah, they made him... You weren't born, but um, they made, like, He-Man-looking Star Wars figures when they came back in the 90s. Okay, that's funny. Yeah. All right, so that is it for the Black Series. Let's see what else is in here. From Vintage Collection, we have the Emperor. This, this is a newer figure. Um, then we have a Carbonized Moff Gideon. The carbonized ones are Walmart exclusives. Um, they have the metallic sheen to them, the figure and the card back. Let's see, we have... IG-88, or IG-88, IG-11. And another carbonized figure, the Shore Trooper from Rogue One. Or, I guess it's technically Mandalorian, but the Shore Troopers I like are from Rogue One. We'll pretend it's from Rogue One. <laughs> Alright, what else we got here? Uh, we've got... A Baby Yoda Stuffy. A, a Grogu Stuffy. <laughs> And I think the point of this is that you can stuff them in and close it like he's in the... Here, close that up. You fold it in. Yeah. Here, let me see. It's hard to 
Yeah. yeah. Let's we'll see, it looks like he's inside the pram. Yeah, and there's a cool. Then you can unfold it and he comes out. There he is. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And we have Galactic Snacking Rogu. That you can, you can feed, frogs, feed, yeah, you can feed them the frogs and stuff. This was nominated for Toy of the Year, actually. Oh, wow. So we will take a look at that this week for sure. Yes. Then we have some of the lightsaber forge stuff. We have the mall saber, the Ahsoka, and ooh, the dark saber. Yeah, this is still one too. So these are the ones you can put together so that it's the lightsaber that you get here. Or you can mix and match the parts and build something that's your own. So we'll mess with those two probably. Um, let's see. And we have the bounty collection, the child. It's the pram pack. So it comes with all the stuff you see in here. It's like a build-up pack almost. It looks like a Lego. For, uh, well, no, it's not Legos. It's it's for your figure. See, it gives yeah. you the pram and the frogs and the cookie and the blanket. It's for the figure. Cool. Those are the bounty collection, which we also have right here. Oh. We have sad-looking Grogu. There's a look at all the ones that are in this series. And then we have the one with the Mandalorian helmet. Those are neat. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we have the new updated version of the Mandalorian Monopoly. I like this. Yeah. I, like I want to play it. <laughs> we could play this one. Our family tends to get a little too heated during Monopoly, though. <laughs> you can see all the new pieces. It's bus from the show. Boba Fett's in there. Yeah. Ahsoka. Yeah. Bo Katan. Yeah. Grogu. Grogu. Those I, are cool. If I played this game, I would be Grogu. I'm, so, I'm shocked. <laughs> and then finally, the last piece of merch in this box is the Mission Fleet Razor Crest, which I'm actually pretty excited to open up and take a look at. But, uh, it also comes with the Mandalorian and Grogu. That is correct. And Mandalorian comes with the Arsenal. The um, Razor Crest has some missiles it can shoot out. It's got room in the cockpit for both of them to sit. So, yeah. We'll have a look at this as well this week. So then, yeah. Here is a whole bunch of Star Wars stuff. Again, Hasbro, thank you. We are super excited to start opening all this stuff and start showing it to everybody. What do you say? Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> all right. So look for more, like, figure reviews and stuff from all this stuff on BC this week. And until then, we'll talk to you later.